Right, well, I hope you're ready because we're about to enter the twilight zone. There's a story that's been circulating for a few weeks now that I first saw on Segment Next, which I think was flagged up to me by Grant from Over the Edge. And the story is talking about the Nintendo Switch and something called the SCD, or the Supplemental Computing Device, which is looking like it might be some sort of add-on to the Switch, which will offer 8 gigs of RAM, 3.5 teraflops of graphical power, on what in effect is a NVIDIA 1060 GPU. Now, this originated from NeoGAF, and I'll put a link in to both the Segment Next article and the NeoGAF thread that talks about this. And basically, it's quite interesting, but <laughs> I looked at it and I thought, well, this is rather odd initially, and I still think it's a bit odd. But the question is, is it actually real or not? Well, apparently, according to NeoGAF, the person who leaked this information has got a pretty decent track record and has been on point with a lot of stuff that they've come up with in the past. So it could well be that there is something real to this. However, if it is an add-on, and it does look like it may well be an add-on, then we all know the history of add-ons, and we've had things like the Sega CD and the Sega 32X. There's even something, <laughs> the Famicom Disk System that only turned up in Japan and never got anywhere else. However, I don't know what you guys think, but I've been thinking about this idea of an add-on, and okay, historically it's been a bad idea, but we're kind of in a different world now, aren't we? We've got iterative upgrades of both the PS4 with the Pro and the Xbox One with the Scorpio coming later this year. So we've entered a world which is looking rather different than it has in the past. So Nintendo bringing out an add-on for the Switch wouldn't be so out of keeping with the current climate. And perhaps, perhaps, it might give the Switch the extra graphical grunt it needs to compete in this market. Because according to the rumours, it looks like it would be somewhere in the region of the PS4 maybe even up to the PS4 Pro. So it would be a pretty powerful machine with the add-on. As I say, at this stage, this is all speculation. So it's difficult to actually come to any, any real conclusions, but it is interesting. Going on from that, if we're looking at it and we're thinking, well, okay, is this going to help the Switch? Well, anyone watching my channel knows that I have some issues with the Switch, most specifically down to the fact that I think it's underpowered. So this could add some power. But if we get into the nitty gritty of this, it starts to look like a very difficult proposition. It actually puts Nintendo into a situation where they're in a kind of catch 22. Because if we're looking at the Switch and we come to the conclusion which I have, that the Switch may not do particularly well, certainly in the medium term, then we're looking at maybe adding on this SCD sooner rather than later. Well, then you get into the problem of price because you've got the Switch releasing for $300. Now, if you're then going to add on this SCD, which is based on a, a, an NVIDIA 1060, then that's not going to be cheap either. So you're probably looking at a minimum price for that of around $200. And I would suggest that more likely $250. That puts the Switch in the $500 to $550 range. OK, if you're looking further down the line and introducing it in a year's time, that's not such a big deal. Or even if they maybe released it as a new version of the Switch, like an upgraded version like the PS4 Pro or the Scorpio. But whether they bring it out as an add-on or whether they bring it out as an iterative upgrade, there is going to have to be a gap between the Switch, and this add-on, upgrade, whatever it is. If they bring it out quickly, it's going to alienate an awful lot of people because if you come out with an upgrade or an add-on that's costing you $200, $250 in the same year, some people have suggested it might be this year, and even released with the Switch, then people are going to be looking at it and thinking, what the hell? Because already the Switch costs the same as a PS4 or an Xbox. So pushing it beyond that to give you the same sort of graphical grunt is a hard sell as far as I'm concerned. So 
<laughs> Nintendo are going to be in an odd situation where they're either going to release it too early and piss everybody off or release it too late after interest in the Switch has already died down quite a bit. And if the Switch hasn't gained any market penetration or any significant market penetration, this could well end up being ditched before it even turns up. So I do think it's a difficult one. I, I think that in terms of the power it offers, if it is indeed a real thing, it could be the saviour of the Switch. But I don't think in, in the real world that will transpire for the reasons I've given. I think it is a very, very difficult one for Nintendo to navigate. And I think that if they release the Switch and it is underpowered, and it will be underpowered, then they're not going to get the games out there. They're not going to be able to get people to buy the system. And I know people have come on my channel and said, oh, you're talking rubbish. People are already pre-ordering it and it's sold out. But that always happens with Nintendo consoles early on. The reality is the Switch is going to have a hard time selling. Certainly in my view, I think it's going to have a hard time selling. And then this SCD is going to come out and we're going to find that there's not going to be a ready market for it. So anyway, that, I mean, that's what I think. I think that this is a difficult sell. I don't think it's necessarily a difficult sell because of the historical reasons for add-ons being problematical. But I do think that we're in a situation now where we've already got the Switch coming. This is not like this is being announced at the same time. If we get this now, people are going to be looking down their noses at it and thinking, I'm not paying $500 for a console that's as powerful as an Xbox. And if it comes out, what, the end of this year, I think that's still too early. I think people will still look at it in that way. If it's coming mid to end of next year, well, it may well all be over before it even turns up. But as I say, that's what I'm thinking. If this is real, I think those are the problems it may have. Obviously, you guys can come in the comments and tell me whether you think it's real, whether you think it is a good idea, and whether you think it'll be successful or not. So anyway, as I say, it'd be good to hear from you. Come in the comments. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of coffee today because I fancy a cup of coffee. So uh, I'll speak to you guys again soon. Bye.